Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do a ghosting effect or a ghost trail effect. Some people call it a uh, echo, a time echo. You can also call it uh, if you've been drinking too much and you get some blurry lines behind you, <laughs> get some of them blurred lines going on. I'm going to show you how to do it. First step here, you'll notice I've got a few seconds of a puppy dog just going in front of a mirror and doing puppy dog things. Very, very cute. Uh, I'm going to go now and add in the effects to give you the ghost of the trailing effect. The first step is you want to go up to the top here. You go to effect and then you want to go to the time, down to time, and then you're going to see something called CC wide time. Now, before I go a little further, I will note that there are multiple ways to make this type of effect, but this one is the quickest and I think this one's probably the most um, granular. You can go ahead and make the most changes to it. So you can already see that it's made some changes. It's got some, uh, I guess you could say, some opacity issues going on here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at the wide time. This is the effect we just added on. Now, it comes default with one forward step, one back step. What that means is it ghosts forward one, and then it shows back one. But I'm going to go ahead and ramp this up to like five, so I can, no, let's go even, let's go to like seven, so you can really see this effect in... Yeah, you can really see this effect in play. That's a good way to put it. Um, you can go all the way up to who knows how much, but to get the effect, I'm going to go with 7 and 7, and then now I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and I'm going to show you what this looks like, and then we can talk from there. All right, here we go. Now, this is going through the RAM, but you can already see, even though it's RAM playing, that you can see the ghosting effect around the puppy. There's the shot of him moving forward. And you can see that it's trailing and going forward. This is exactly the type of look that we're going for. If you got somebody that's been drinking and they're not seeing straight, and you're a video editor, add this effect in with wide time and this echo, and it makes it look perfectly like you're watching somebody who's had too much to drink. All right, here we go in real time. Boom. There we go. Puppy dog is ghosted and rolling. This is perfect. Guys, you can, of course, make adjustments if you want no native motion blur. You could turn it off or you could turn it on. I'm leaving it off for now, just leaving it as is. But these are the types of changes you can make. But to make a ghost trailing effect or the echo time effect or the wide time, that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.